All right, let's talk about an easy conversational structure that you guys could be doing in any environment to get you guys into more engaging, interesting conversations. Okay, so behind me, I've put together this conversational structure that I'm about to go over with you line by line to show you guys how you could be implementing this structure. And keep in mind, the whole point of this is to help you guys get into the first one to two minutes of conversation. Okay, so let's jump into this. What does it start out with? It's very simple. The first line, I know you guys are thinking there's some epic line to start out with, but it's really this. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> okay, it's that simple. Most of you guys are so in your head about how you should start a conversation. It's really that easy. It just in passing, whether I'm going into the gym, whether I'm at class, whatever's going on, it's as simple as smiling and saying, hey, how's it going? Hey, how's it going? Hey, what's up? Okay, it's very simple. But here's what you're gonna find, that in most environments when you say that to somebody, guess what their response is? <laughs> Good you. Okay, that's the most overused, most boring phrase in the entire world. If you can, please remove that from your vocabulary right now. All right, I hate that fucking phrase, but it's actually gonna be good for you now that you know what I'm about to teach you. Okay, so once somebody says that, this is where the power comes in. This is, this is where the nugget is right here, okay? So if there's one thing you could take away from this, it's this line, bro. It's, I had a blank experience and then you're gonna add a question related to that experience, okay? And, and notice how in parentheses it says emotion. So you're gonna have some kind of an emotional experience and then you can ask them a question related to that experience. So I'll give you an example. Let's just say I was at the gym and I see somebody, I'm like, hey, how's it going? They say, it's good, you? At this point, this is where it comes in. I would say something like, man, I was feeling so tired before but I took this pre-workout and like, it's finally starting to kick in. I'm feeling like a little jittery, but either way, it's got me like so locked in and ready for this workout. I'm like excited. You know that feeling like when the pre-workout starts to kick in? Okay, so that's something you could say. You don't need to say that word for word, but let's break this down. So it's like I had an emotional experience, right? I was tired or I had this epic alertness awakening from the pre-workout and then I asked them like, you could ask them a question related to that experience. Like, you know that feeling when the pre-workout kicks in? Or you could say something like, do you take pre-workout? All right, but the point is you had an emotional experience. And because of that, that's gonna provoke a response. The problem when someone says, good you, there's no emotion. There's nothing for them to even respond with. And because I gave a response that has emotion and has some kind of experience in it, it would be very weird and unlikely that the person's just gonna say, oh, that's good, and then they walk away. Okay, so it's because when someone says good you and you say good, there's nothing for them to bite into and to hook on. There's no emotion, there's nothing for them. So don't ever say this, and if someone says this, get ready to say some kind of emotional experience you had, and you can always tie it into a question related to that experience, okay? So it could be something that was intense, amazing, grateful, uh, horrible, epic, okay? It doesn't need to be like super amazing and blissful, but any kind of emotional adjective that you could think of some kind of experience that's going on, that's what you want to inject into things, okay? So good is boring. Okay, intense, epic, crazy, horrible, awful, super, um, whatever it is, okay? It could be good or bad, but you need some kind of emotion in there to get them, to get their attention going, okay? So that's, this is the biggest part of this thing, and by doing this, it's gonna require them to give some kind of contextual response. So most likely, if I'm talking to them at the gym, they're gonna be like, uh, most likely they're gonna be like, oh, that's awesome. I will say I used to take pre-workout, but I haven't been on it lately. Or they're gonna be like, oh my God, I know, like I'm on pre-workout. Or what kind of pre-workout are you on? They're gonna ask you something related to your experience. Okay, and then from there, once they give a response, you can either ask them another question or you give some kind of personal input into whatever you guys are talking about. Or at that point, you could even switch topic. But this is a great structure to get you into the interaction. Okay, so that's one example. And as you can see in this little chart here, I, I break it down for a couple different environments. So if you see it says at the gym, typically the experience you could talk about that's easy is just your workout. How you were feeling before the workout, how you're feeling now, how you're feeling with the, with the pre-workout kicking in, how you're feeling without pre-workout, uh, how the natural euphoria you're getting from just working out or you're just 
grateful to be in the gym and it's a beautiful day on your work and on your body, whatever it is, okay? So gym, easy is to talk about workout. For the daytime, whether we're talking about the walking through a park or your work environment, I think the easiest things is to talk about how your day's going or talk about the environment. So an easy example of this, if I'm walking through the park and I'm like, hey, how's it going? Good, you, I'm gonna talk about my day or the environment. So I'm gonna say something like, it's going really good, honestly. I finally got to catch up on some sleep and uh, just woke up feeling super rested and now I'm just like strolling through the park enjoying the, the beautiful weather. Isn't it so nice out lately? Isn't it so nice out lately? I'm talking about their experience. Okay, so notice what I did there. I talked about my day, talked about the environment, and then I put the question back on them based on that experience. In this case, it's like the weather. All right, so that's how you could do it during the daytime. All right, if we're talking about nighttime, I think night game and clubs, the easiest one to talk about, if you've got nothing else to talk about, is the venue itself. Okay, so an example of this is like, hey, what's up, how's it going? Oh, it's good, man. I would say, honestly, dude, I haven't been to this venue before, but it's fucking lit right now, bro. I was not expecting like this many girls or it to be this crazy or the music to be this popping or the environment to just be this lit. Like, dude, I'm so surprised right now. Wait, have you been here before? Is it always like this or, or what? And honestly, even for night game, you could talk about how your day's going so far, how your mood is. I, I usually say something like, honestly, dude, I was so beat before. Like I, it was just, I worked all week and I really didn't even want to come out. But thank God my boys like dragged me out here because like the venue's so lit and like just being around all this good energy is just like, it's really awakening me. Do you come here a lot? Cause this shit's popping right now. All right, so you can talk about your mood. You can talk about the environment. That works in the daytime or the nighttime. And then also for class, for my, for my dudes that are going to school and stuff, I like to talk about homework, tests, or you could be talking about the weekend. So I would say something like, honestly, dude, like during that test, bro, I would have had like a fucking panic attack. You ever like take the test when it's like everything you studied was not what was on the test. And I'm just like looking through this like, dude, I think I was like studying the wrong chapter or some shit. Like, you know what I'm talking about? Okay, so you could say something like that. I'm talking about my experience with homework and tests. Or another easy thing to talk about is the weekend. Okay, so if the, if the weekend's coming up, you're talking about plans for the weekend, what you want to do. Maybe you have no plans and you're feeling shitty about it and you're looking for something to do. Or if it's like earlier in the week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, talk about how the weekend was, how their weekend was, or how you had an epic weekend, or how you wish it was something more popping, but instead it was just this. Okay, so you could you could play around with these. Like honestly, dude, I didn't even do shit over the weekend, which is like. I don't know, I was like so bummed about it. You know those weekends where like you want to go out but there's like no plans and you feel like, fuck man, like I gotta like get out there. But it's like, I didn't even end up doing jack shit, honestly. Okay, so if you have nothing going on, you can still make it into something. It's just talking about the emotional experience behind it and then asking them a question related to that experience. Okay, so if there's something you could take away from this, guys, it, it's this right here. Okay, this is the most important part of this. Hey, what's up? How's it going? Good, you? What, whatever. You could open with whatever. Honestly, if you can master this part of just getting in the habit of talking to people about an emotional experience and then asking them a question related to that experience, you're going to get into so many interactions, like so many interactions. Okay. So the main thing is that don't be this guy. Don't be the good. That's what most people are doing. That there's no emotion. There's no excitement. There's nothing for the person to respond to. And as a result, you don't go anywhere with the conversation. Okay. So this is the bread and butter master this. And it's going to take you so fucking far with things, man. I'm not even joking. Okay. Like earlier, uh, two days ago, I was in the elevator. Right. And, um, I got into the elevator. There's four other people in the elevator and they were silent once I, but once I got in the first thing I said, I was like, man, like some crazy shit happened to me the other night in the elevator. I couldn't believe it. Guess what happened? Everybody in the elevator all of a sudden, what happened? Okay. Why is that? Because I came in with some emotion and again, doesn't need to be crazy. In this instance, something crazy actually did happen. So I wanted to talk about it because it was relevant to the situation. So this is what you're going to do. And then the, and then notice in that example, I didn't even say, Hey, what's up? How's it going? Good. You, I just opened with this. Cause if this is good enough and you have enough emotion, you can just go right into this. Even in the club, you could just be like, dude, get this. I just was thinking, blah, blah, blah. You could go right into it. You don't need to have the, Hey, what's up? How's it going? For some of you, this makes more sense in certain situations. Other times you could just jump right into this. And if this is good enough, at the very least, it's going to get a response. It's going to get people engaging in whatever you're talking about. And then from there, ask questions about it, 
give some personal input into the experience, and then you can switch topic. All right, so that's it in a nutshell, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're interested in working with me personally, I have a mentorship program, okay? You can work with me personally, where I would go over this with you. I would analyze your vibe, your communication, your charisma, your social skills, your dating life. I would critique all of that. I would give you the step-by-step -step game plan of what you need to be doing to start leveling up. I would even give you the lines and the delivery of everything you need to be doing to start making more friends and getting more women and more dates. If you're interested in doing that, okay, click the link below, fill out the application for an opportunity to work with me personally. All right, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I look forward to hearing from you. I'll talk to you soon. Until next time, Coach Kyle signing out. Peace out, guys.